Hey, what up, people? Hope you all are doing fantastic. Today, we're starting a new series on the channel called Tech in Bed. Every episode, I'm gonna go over a piece of tech that I use in the bedroom when the lights go out. Now, I know some of you health freaks are already getting red in the face. You might be thinking, Jonathan, tech doesn't belong in the bedroom, especially in bed. It can cut into your sleep and overall impact your health. And I can understand why you would say that. So always make sure to stay responsible. If you need rest, do what's best and turn the stuff off. In this first episode of Tech in Bed, we're taking a look at my mini entertainment setup. You see, I love having a TV in the bedroom, but my wife doesn't. According to her, the bedroom is for sleeping and baby making. While I love both of these activities, I also like watching TV. And personally, I wish I could do all three at the same time. So I needed something that I can whip out when I want it and put it away when she complains. That's why when JMGO reached out wanting me to try out their new portable Explorer P3 projector, it was a no brainer. Everything you need to get up and running is inside the box. This includes an instruction manual, a wall adapter, and a remote control. The remote control includes a USB Bluetooth receiver and takes two AAA batteries, which were not included in my box. The projector itself is built really solid. It has a sleek all metal design that makes it easy to toss in a bag for travel, or in my case, one of my nightstand drawers. The Explorer P3 has a built-in 15,600 milliamp hour battery and two built-in Hi-Fi 3 watt speakers. I've been able to get around two to three hours of use on a single charge, plus it charges relatively quick. The power button is located on the end of the projector. The IO is hidden underneath a rubber cover right below that power button. I gotta say, this is a nice touch if you're planning on using this while camping because it gives you a little bit more durability. On the bottom, there's a quarter 20 thread for attaching the projector to a tripod or a light stand. Lastly, and probably the most unique feature of the Explorer is the 90 degree rotating lens. This makes finding the perfect angle easy as pie, especially when combined with the built-in autofocusing system. The Explorer P3 is an LED style projector rated up to 300 ANSI lumens and has a contrast ratio of 5,000 to one. It gets nice and bright in darker environments, but once the lights come on or sunlight peeks through a window, you'll notice the impact it has on the image immediately. For my use case, this isn't an issue. And for the majority of people using a portable projector, I don't see it being a problem either. JMGO states it can project an image between 30 to 150 inches. I use this in bed and project the image directly to my ceiling. It's roughly about a 55 to 65 inch image and it looks pretty good in my opinion. So the Explorer P3 is running Android 9 with some type of skin on top. It's easy to navigate, but it lacks the Play Store. Instead, you'll find the Fun Store, which has quite a few streaming apps, games, and more. The problem I ran into using the Fun Store apps was overall image quality when playing back content, especially in YouTube and Netflix. You can always sideload various apps, even the Play Store, if you really wanted to. I just didn't do that. Better yet, you can use a Chromecast, Fire Stick, game console, or link your phone with a wireless connection and stream that way, which is what I did. The HDMI port allows 4K and 1080p signals, but remember the projected image is still in 720p. You can also use a USB drive for playing movies saved to an external device. Uh, what I've been doing is linking my Nintendo Switch up to it at night, not only to game, but to watch Hulu and my other streaming services. It's pretty damn boss considering I'm laying in bed face up to the ceiling and it's like having a giant TV right there. The autofocus feature works really nice the majority of the time and for the times where it doesn't quite nail focus, you could use the remote to dial it in. There's various display options including color profile presets and the ability to create a custom one. There's also settings for white balance, keystone correction, and more all inside of the settings. Something I haven't yet tried but find pretty interesting is the 3D video support. You'll need your own glasses to take advantage of it, but it sounds pretty cool. I'll definitely post something on Instagram once I get around to trying this mode out. The remote works well, but one thing you should know is in order to use it in like a mouse cursor mode, you'll need to plug in the USB receiver and click this button. Otherwise, it's a more traditional selection mode, which doesn't always play well in every single app, such as Netflix. But honestly, other than that, the remote is great and has all the controls you need, including the focusing features I mentioned earlier. When my wife is trying to get some sleep, I'll just pop on some Bluetooth headphones, which link directly to the projector. But if she's cool with a little bit of noise, I just use the built-in speakers. They sound really nice actually and pack plenty of range. And in fact, if you were to just use this solely as a Bluetooth speaker for the times you didn't need a projector, I think it would be more than sufficient. A 
rampaging Asian rhino barreling down a busy Indian highway. Look at the size of the thing. A tank on legs, armed with a deadly weapon, intent on taking down everything in its path. Wow. With a heart stopping near miss after near miss. The fan noise is very mild when using the automatic mode, pending that you have enough airflow. You can always go into the settings and change it to high, which will ramp up the fans, and it definitely makes them a lot more audible. But all in all, from the speakers to the fan noise, I think the audio setup on this little projector is pretty legit. What's great about this setup is I'm not limited to just my bedroom. Thanks to the internal battery, the speakers, autofocus, and I.O., I can literally take this with me on trips or just go outside and play some games with my neighbors, all while maintaining social distancing given the times that we're currently in. But going back to the bed, where all the magic happens. Even though my wife was adamant about not having a TV in the bedroom, she loves the projector. We've watched several movies and shows just chilling in bed with our pup until falling asleep. Since you're not sitting upright or in an awkward position, you can lay back comfortably under the covers and get your entertainment on. For me personally, I love playing games on this thing. I even hooked up some of my retro console remakes like the PS1, NES, and SNES, which all played back stellar. So that wraps up the first episode of Tech in Bed. Let me know what you guys think of this new series, and if you have any ideas for future episodes, leave them in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell so you can be alerted when that content drops. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up, and I'll see you sweet-hearted people in the next one.